I'm, I'm absolutely, absolutely dying uh, to see this, you know, at the earliest, especially about my son, Sanjay Gogo. <laughs> and uh, it, it was, it's like a short mini, uh, you know, biography. Uh, because, uh, you know, the longer, bigger version of autobiographies and biographies are uh, probably, uh, you know, they're, they're interesting uh, to put on a shelf, you know. Nobody really reads it, you know. This is a tremendous way, uh, you know, tremendous way by Stardust, uh, you know, to let uh, the fans and everybody know in a, in, a, in a very compact way about the person about whom uh, the special issue of the magazine is, you know. I think it is one of the most unique way of presenting with latest facts, uh, you know, like uh, earlier nostalgia, earlier, uh, earlier life and everything. So therefore, for me, it is very special and I'm very sure, uh, you know, like uh, the others who would be doing it, you know, the others that would be uh, on the cover and on, on which this special issue would be, uh, would all also be extremely happy the way I'm very happy. Thank you. So you've been in association with Stardust for quite a long time. How has the bond grown over these years? You know, right from standing outside the office with photographs and, you know, requesting the journalist, please somehow put a picture of mine uh, in the magazine, you know. And, uh, you know, not just me, almost everybody, you know, who, who's uh, an actor has done that, you know. Uh, you know, like, let's say, before the emergence of a larger uh, PR, uh, you know, PR uh, gang, you know. And, and uh, from that to you know, being friends with uh, the, the uh, you know, journalists, the earlier editors, whether, it, you know, all of them, and, and uh, having, uh, you know, having a larger success and having a major contribution of Stardust uh, in, in my success and success of many of uh, present-day stars, uh, it, it's, it's truly, truly been a wonderful uh, friendship, and uh, I, I'm indebted uh, to Stardust for uh, you know putting me out there, uh, you know every every now and then, and and uh, thank you for everything. So we now take questions from the media. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, like of course the global star uh, is because. Uh, as, as you all know that I'm the pioneer of commercial Bollywood cinema actors from Bollywood to Hollywood. I'm very proud of the fact that I've laid a mud path uh, between uh, Bollywood and Hollywood. And I'm more proud of the fact that that mud path is being cemented and followed by many actors who are getting tremendous success, whether it is Priyanka Chopra, Irfan Khan, Anil Kapoor, Amitabh Bachchan, Anupam Kher, uh, and many more. And there will be many more younger actors who would be, you know, making this transition and making us all very proud. So I'm very happy. And uh, yes, uh, one is, you know, more responsible uh, because one is, you know, as, as one of my Hollywood uh, director, producer, Larry Kasanoff says, he says, Kulshan Grover is a player on the world stage. You're in different movies. You're in Canadian movie. You're in Jap Japanese movie. You're in Malaysian film. You're in an Iranian film. So he, he calls me Gulshan Grover, a player on the world stage. Any other question? Yeah. Uh, you've been a part of more than 400 films. So which is that one film which is close to your heart? It's extremely difficult. Uh, you know, I, I think if any actor says or chooses four or five films is actually uh, being nice, diplomatic, or has been fed by the PR machinery, it's extremely difficult to find one film or four films. Each film has been very dear to me. And I, and I, and I put my heart and soul into every film, every film that I've done. I mean, there is nothing that I do, uh, you know, like half-heartedly. There's nothing that I do without putting the best, as they say, uh, you know, like uh, some of the directors in Hollywood say, okay, sound ready? All right, actors, give it what you got. So I have given whatever I have got uh, to each and every film. So all of them are extremely dear to me and all of them have helped me 
I mean, no, no, my, my, my career and my success has not been getting into an, an success like you get into an escalator and you're there. No. Each film has been one tiny step forward. One tiny step forward. So every film has helped me and every film is very dear to me. جب میں شرم کالج سے پڑھائی ختم کر کے یہاں پر فلموں میں کام کرنے کے لیے آیا تھا اور میں نے فارمل ٹریننگ کی میرے کلاس میٹ تھے انل کپور لیڈ مظہر خان اینڈ بہت سارے ادر ایکٹرس تو وہ ایجوکیشن کی بیک گراؤنڈ فارمل ٹریننگ کے دوران مجھے یہ سمجھ میں آیا کہ آئی وانٹ اے لانگر شیلف لائف کہ میں پوری زندگی ایکٹنگ کر سکوں اور میری ایکٹنگ نہ میری ایج نہ میری لکس پہ ڈپینڈنٹ ہو بلکہ میری کلا پر ڈپینڈنٹ ہو میں تھوڑا سا بیک گراؤنڈ پہلے بتا اور اس لیے میں نے ڈسائڈ کیا کہ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو بی اے بیڈ مین آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو بی اے ولن ان دا موویز وین دیٹ ڈسیزن واز میڈ اینڈ آئی لکڈ اراؤنڈ دی ریسپیکٹڈ ولنس ایٹ دیٹ ٹائم ور آل یو نو دے ہیڈ ٹریمنڈس ڈیمینر آف اے ولن دے واک ان ٹو اے پارٹی دے لکڈ لائک یو نو دا کھل نائکس یو نو اینڈ اینڈ آل آف دیم وار تھریٹننگ لکنگ یو نو آل آف دیم وار ویری ویری ڈرمیٹک and uh, I have a normal regular guy that you see in the mall that you see uh, you know like uh, at a restaurant you know earlier at the bus stop you know so from that I wanted to give each character a different look different feel and at the same time not be a villain in real life a villain looking in real life a normal person in real life the moment I come on screen there's a different persona this was driven because of that And uh, when I got success, filmmakers uh, were very encouraging. جو میرے اس سمے کے ڈائریکٹرس تھے انہوں نے مجھے بہت ہیلپ کیا پہلی بات تو جب میں نے انہیں سجیسٹ کیا کہ اس رول میں میں اس پرکار کا لک یا گیٹ اپ کرنا چاہتا ہوں یا اس طرح سے بولنا چاہتا ہوں تو انہوں نے انکریج کیا اپروو کیا بیکاز ود آؤٹ ڈائریکٹرس پارٹیسپیشن اینڈ اپروول نتھنگ کین بی ڈن ان اے فلم یو نو سو دے ور ویری ویری انکریجنگ ان فیکٹ ایک سمے ایسا آ گیا جب دے وڈ رائٹ اے رول اینڈ دل سے you know please hear the role listen to the role and now you decide how you want to play this and we will add those nuances into the scenes you know because mujhe alag alag look mein success milne lag gayi aur aaj khushi ki baat ye hai ki aaj for every actor every hero every, every heroine every other actor look in a particular film is become extremely important in fact so much so ke wo media se chupate hain سر پہ ٹوپی لگا کے کپڑے پہن کے برقع پہن کے جاتے ہیں کہ کہیں میڈیا تصویر نہ کھینچ لے آف دا لک دیٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی کمنگ ان اے فلم سو آئی ایم ویری ہیپی دیٹ ایچ ایکٹر ٹوڈے ہیز ریئلائز دیٹ ایچ کیریکٹر از ڈفرینٹ سو یو کانٹ بی لکنگ دا سیم ان ایچ کیریکٹر آئی وڈ سے آل آف دیم آنسٹلی ایف یو لک ایٹ آئی آلسو بلیو ان دس دیٹ ٹو بی اے ہیرو You can get away with good looks and average acting. But to be a villain, you have to be a fantastic actor. Look at the great, uh, you know, uh, villains, bad man on Indian screen. Look at Pran Saab, Amjad Khan Saab, Amrish Puri Ji, Kanaya Lal Saab, Ajit Saab, uh, you know, Danny Ji, Ranjit Ji, so, you know, all of them. They, they, they have limited screen time, predictable deeds. Villain is not going to do something that you can't predict, you know. And yet they create that aura on, on screen, you know, all of them. So it will be very unfair to say I like one particular villain. I've learned from all. I am learned, studied them all, and then started my journey. And even while acting in films and uh, getting tremendous success in the films, uh, you know, I keep learning from them. And today, they're all very proud of me that this is the first time A large studio, Viacom 18, has made a film in which a villain, Gulshan Grover, is the hero of the film. The name of the film is the iconic character that Gulshan Grover has played, Bad Man. 
and this film is directed by director Shomik San, who directed Gulab Gang with Madhuri Dikshit and Juhi Chawla. And this has happened for the first time. That at a time like this, when villains are disappearing from screen, you know, you don't find uh, villains on screen. And at a time like this, for a large studio, Viacom 18, uh, director Shomik San to make a full length feature film uh, called The Bad Man, and in which Gulshan Grover is the hero, is very, very interesting, and I take it as a large compliment uh, that over the years, uh, the, the, the kind of work that I've done <laughs> and how I have, uh, you know, with, with my work and with the, uh, you know, like everyone's participation, how I have this sizzle in my brand, the brand Gulshan Grover, the brand Badman has sizzle because of journey outside of India and everything. And today, a film is made uh, you know, with the villain as the hero, you know, which is which is unheard of, which is very difficult, you know, because villains today are not even there on screen. Now, any experience you would like to share about Dushan? As, as he said, you know, every star in the beginning used to come to the office and they wanted their pictures to be, you know, put up in the magazine. So, कोई ऐसी कोई खास बात या आपको इन याद आ रही हो Dushan के बारे में लाइक टू शेयर? Well, Dushan has always been close to Stardust. I think we've known him since the days. Our first editor, Shobha Day, was there. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. And then to every editor he was close to. I didn't get a chance to get in between because he was friendly with all of them. <laughs> Shobha Day, Kumar Rao, Vanita Ghosh, Pochi Bacha, you name it, all of them he knew. Better than I knew them sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, may, may thoda, I mean, I like to expand on this. Honestly, uh, if you look at this, if you are you know, like somehow get featured in Stardust. Trust me, हम लोग office के बाहर खड़े रहें तस्वीरें लेके हम लोग से मतलब जितने हम actor हैं, जितने हम उस वक्त के actors हैं. And you know, journalists ने, editors ने, you know, they 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 all always had a compassionate attitude towards you know like younger actors, actors that are going to rise. And if you look at the issues today, you know. The uh, younger actors, the actors who are rising on the horizon, they get, uh, you know, a lot of uh, significant coverage uh, in the magazine. I mean, because I read uh, the magazine and I see this and this registers to me that it is not only about 10 names which are the magazine ke cover, but the younger actors, actors who have done something. And also, look at the uh, award that, you know, like uh, Stardust Searchlight Award, which is, you know, like, so any any fantastic actor, uh, younger director, writer gives a good performance, you get recognition, you know, which is generally बहुत applaud करने की बात है और ये चुके stardust के office में magna के office में बैठे हैं magna के मालिक सामने बैठे हैं editors बैठे हैं इसलिए नहीं कह रहा अगर आप भी इसे logically देखें that they constantly encourage younger talent, give them coverage in the magazine and give them an award uh, in in a in a very very significant category. French. I have no enemies. I have no enemies. All of them are my friend. And uh, over the years, uh, one has realized that uh, uh, being excessively friendly with anybody becomes a camp. And uh, being a wonderful, enjoyable co star, uh, you know, on the sets, off the sets, in the evening when you bump into a function. Is is a is a very tremendous quality to have as opposed to just being very close to uh, some people. Of course, I uh, you know my early part of my career has been uh, you know I was after finishing my acting training where I said Anil Kapoor was my batchmate, so Anil Kapoor and I struggled together. Anil, myself, and Mazhar Khan, and various other we would go to various film producers' offices, and of course Sanjay Dutt. Uh, when I finished my acting uh, training, I got an teacher's job in the same acting school and some of my students in that acting school where I was a teacher was Sanjay Dutt, Kumar Gaurav, Sunny Deol, Tina Munim, so many of them and Sanjay Dutt was a dear friend uh, from the, that time. But over the years I worked with almost everybody, everybody. I mean and, and uh, it, it was a learning, it was a conscious learning that uh, you know it is not uh, right for a professional to be excessively friendly with just a group of actors. So, any 
Yeah. Yes, I have, uh, you know, about six, seven films uh, uh, coming outside of India. Uh, one is, uh, you know, a film with Salma Hayek that has been going on uh, for a long time. It's called The Driver. It's directed by Bill Duke, where Salma Hayek and me uh, play husband and wife. And uh, and the 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 <laughs> the the, uh, the film driver uh, the driver is uh, you know a title uh, for the woman you know where the woman uh, you know takes the driving uh, seat and uh, takes takes sets out on this journey to fulfill the unrealized ambition of her husband. So it's a very very interesting film. Bill Duke has directed many large Hollywood films, including uh, uh, Sister Act, Sister Act Two, Sister Act uh, One, and uh, The Hoodlum. Many, many films. Bill Duke is an African American uh, actor, a director. And then there is a, I mean, I do diverse films. I have a Malaysian film coming, uh, which is called uh, uh, I'm Not a Terrorist, you know, and uh, the film is going to be shot in is being shot in Malaysia and Kashmir. Then I have an Australian film uh, with Brettley uh, called Un-Indian. Uh, then I have a film, a Canadian film, which is, uh, you know, uh, partially it is out with, uh, uh, called Biba Boys uh, with Deepa Mehta. And uh, I have uh, uh, another Canadian film, The Gun. I have, you know, like uh, films uh, uh, in, in various countries and I'm very grateful to all of you for your blessings that uh, uh, the, the global star Global actor <laughs> is, is working in different countries as well. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any, any particular controversy, like you know, as if an article I have in the art, or maybe we are like from the editor's point of view or from the magazine point of view, how do you take it and as a particular controversy to Apu Yado? See, as I would say, Ki Kaibari up ticks express Nikar Pate, Koi shop dab kate, or you know, whose time pay dictaphone be neither. So, it was more than that, where, you know, like, they've not recorded you. Many times we use this to our advantage also, honestly. They said, I didn't say anything, how did you write a journalist? I never said this, honestly. Most of the time. Most of the time. And I'm, uh, because, because, it works very well. It's also, it's fine, it's fine to lie like this. Like they said, Ashwas Thama, Mara Gya. So, he has a lot of lives, or when you can get a lot of controversy and problems, and you say, I never said this, how can I say like this? You're my friend, you're my brother, I've never said this. That's why I would say, you know, the, the disadvantage, uh, today if you look at it, honestly, a large part of the problems are from Twitter. Because you can't deny it. How many people can say, oh, my, my Twitter handle got hacked. <laughs> and and uh, because it's there, you have typed it. It's gone out from there. So I think I like the uh, this thing, hey, magazine mein bolo. I never said this, honestly. But I can always send you back your recording, no? No, no, I'm interested. Times, stars used to give us interviews. Yeah. And tell us in advance that we're going to deny. Deny. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and publish it. But I will deny it. But the story is true. And we used to publish it. With a clear understanding, I expected that deny. You know, it's like that in print interviews, you talk about video cameras, many times like you don't, I don't want to answer that. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. That's why you can deny it. Like if you put it on your Facebook or Twitter, if you put it on that way, if you put it on my bike or on the red carpet, you can deny it that I didn't say that there was a gun behind me. So, in print media, I mean, honestly, प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो जाती है प्रिंट मीडिया में आप कह देते हैं क्योंकि उस पब्लिकेशन को तो नहीं पता चलता कि आपने डिनाई कर दिया उस दोस्त को नेवर आई नेवर सेड दिस यार यू माय फ्रेंड आपके बारे में ऐसा बोलूँगा पागल हो यार चलो यार सो आई थिंक लेकिन क्या है कि ऑल सरेंडर वी आर वन फैमिली जो आज द रिक्वेस्ट करने आते थे तस्वीर लेकर के किसी तरह से हमारी तस्वीर छाप दीजिए वहाँ से लेकर आज तक कितने एक्टर्स कितने लोगों की जर्नी में साथ दिया उसी प्रकार से बाकी मीडिया ने भी उसी प्रकार से उन कॉलीग्स ने भी सुख दुख के साथ ही तो वो कॉलीग्स हैं सो जस्ट टू फॉर सम आर्टिकल समटाइम्स वेन यू सेट एंग्रीली और टू एनहेंस योर करियर और टू से आई एम द मेन विलन या मेरा मेरा रोल ज़्यादा बड़ा है या वाई इज दिस माई सैलरी इज बिगर 
इसके लिए यू कॉन्ट मैस अप विद योर फैमिली इट्स योर फैमिली येस एन आई एन आई सेड ऑनेस्टली कि आई डू एट टाइम्स वेन देर इज समथिंग अनकम्फर्टेबल आई होप देर इज नथिंग इन दिस आई से यू नो हाउ मैगजीन आई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव यू नो एजेंट्स इन इंग्लैंड दैट डील विद द यूरोपियन एंड इंग्लिश फिल्म एंड आई हैव एजेंट इन लॉस एंजलिस दे वर्क विद द हॉलीवुड एंड मोर देन दैट नाउ यू नो लाइक I mean, I, as I said, I'm uh, the first Bollywood commercial cinema actor who started this transition from Bollywood to Hollywood, and it's, it was in 1994. So I've been there for a very long time, and like the film industry, they're known to me, and they're friends of mine. Similarly, uh, the the uh, they are all friends of mine, or at least they know me, or they know about me. So people uh, find out your information and send you an email and things like that. also uh, you know like meeting at festivals meeting at other film related platforms you know so i get regular offers uh, from different places you know and and uh, working with different countries in fact uh, you know makes you learn so much makes you uh, you know a, a, a richer in your experience because uh, no matter uh, if, let's say if i go work in a, a film in another country and uh, मैं उनको मैगजीन भी दूँ कि हाउ बिग एक्टर आई एम इन माई कंट्री आर सी दिस यार है इट्स माई फर्स्ट शॉट दैट इज़ गोइंग टू गेट अप्रिसिएशन एंड दैट इज़ गोइंग टू गेट मी रिकग्निशन वेदर आई एम एबल टू डिलीवर वट आई डन इन माई कंट्री हाउ बिग आई एम इन माई कंट्री इट्स इट्स रेलिवेंट बट इट्स नॉट द ओनली थिंग दैट इज़ गोइंग टू जनरेट रिस्पेक्ट फॉर यू एज एन एक्टर और एज अ टेक्नीशियन इट्स योर शॉट दैट हाउ यू हैव परफॉर्म्ड हेयर in these circumstances and it also uh, you're thrown into uh, you know like a large number of people that don't know you then don't know your work you know and 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 they know little about you that uh, you're a significant star you're a big star in your country you're an experienced actor you have so many films but in this shot all that must translate all that must be visible and that not only gets respect for you as an actor respect of the film industry that you belong to respect for other actors who are going to try there directly or indirectly uh, whoever the actors presently uh, working getting work uh, in los angeles whether it is priyanka chopra irfan or various others it is the actors before them uh, you know like uh, whether it was uh, persis kambata whether it was uh, kabir bedi whether it was said jafri whether it was gulshan grover everybody everybody has collaborated and contributed to them getting a certain amount of respect or certain amount of doubt whatever you know but in 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 this case it has been a lot of respect and you will see in years to come there will be a larger uh, interaction as far as the acting talent is concerned okay we would take last two questions now <coughs> sir uh, is the youngest ever to hold the post of director at mgm studios right right yeah. proud i can dance i'm so happy <laughs> honestly you know the uh it's an honest fact honestly i mean like uh, i'm wanting to open this magazine and see first thing sanjay my son's uh, uh, coverage you know that uh, you know and his picture and everything i'm extremely proud and extremely happy of the fact that my son sanjay uh, you know uh, has has uh you know he has done tremendous uh in in the producing film as a studio executive in hollywood and and uh, he he's of course there's a very volatile letter uh, from sanjay in the magazine in which he's you know like it's it's worth reading you know i mean in the sense that we 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 haven't changed a single word uh, uh of what he has written and his feelings about his father and how his father has not been fair in to him in in uh, his dreams being uh, you know different and his father's uh, uh, dreams being different so i'm very ha very happy and proud of sanjay last question <coughs> hi 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 uh, which, uh, which director in hollywood are you really keen to work with um you know over the years uh, i i have realized the uh, big names the fascinating names uh they they mean nothing after a point you know they mean very good for generating articles in media 
and saying that I'm working with so and so big director. Let's say if Spielberg was to uh, sign me, it, it it validates my talent, you know. But truly, as a director, will he be able to get the best out of me? I don't know. And so, therefore, I am I am really really uh, you know looking forward to working with directors who will see something different in me and take it out and present it to the world. But yes, to enhance my career, uh, for further success and to be in the headlines, I would want to work uh, with the big name uh, director because it gets, gets everybody's attention right away. It only does that. It does not really generate or guarantee. Uh, it does not guarantee to generate a fantastic performance. Yeah. I will ask Mishin, uh, the recent incident of uh, Pratiksha Banerjee, like, you know, do you feel so like... I mean, all I can say is it's very, very unfortunate, very sad. Yes, uh, this profession is adding to a lot of pressure, uh, pressure of every kind, you know, pressure of every kind. And, and uh, it's very sad. More than that, I, I, I don't really know. I don't really know what to say.